all right getting into the next match we have ego snes fresh gonna be going up against mr freak with the chili i don't know who's gonna win this one i honestly have no idea how snes is gonna do in this matchup against freak but let me get some ones actually we have the predictions up so i don't need to say that this time predictions are up Go ahead and put your channel points on the line for whoever y'all think is going to take this set. As we get into it, we are going to be starting off on face-off. Yeah, he's just going to completely negate Russ with the side B right there. Get, his, get himself into the air. That's it. That's going to be an up air, and that is a 0-2 death for SNES Fresh. Hey, Freak Trump finally getting some damage on the board right there. Tries to get the, tries to end that stock with the fair, but not able to do so. Wasn't at too high of a percentage for that fair to have that much knockback, but Freak still trying to do what he can do to get all this damage racked up. Oh, my God. He is looking extremely good right now. All he needs is one more hit, and golly, that's all he needed right there. Dashed off the stage, used the up B, and got the fair, and he's even things back up. That back here did 18%. Glenn has bad neutral, by the way, according to Sness. No, he's he's never had bad neutral. Even even after his combo, his up tilt and down tilt got nerfed, he still doesn't have bad neutral. Oh, he might die. Okay. Thought he was gonna jump right there, but not able. Now if Free can get if Free can get the um the throw charged one more time. I think the next back throw will be able to do it on ledge. Wow, he almost died to that forward air. Yep. Freak, knowing that you're not going to be able to punish that any normal way, was able to get a jump nair and get that damage racked up. But he's sitting at 104% right now, trying to use Rush to his best abilities. Ooh, back throw not going to be enough just yet, though. A move that they should have 100% nerfed and Freak... Trying to go on top to get back the stage. Gonna be get clipped by the up air. Okay, gets that back air, sends him all the way across the other side of the stage. Now, if if trampoline actually had a hitbox like Sonic's uh Sonic Spring did, this character would actually be so much better. And when I say so much better, I I literally mean so much better. That would be such a good edge guarding tool for characters that have to use uh vertical edge guards like Yuri, uh Lan sometimes, Sophia especially. It would literally be so much better. But that fourth throw, still not going to be enough to do a great DI from the side of Freak. He has taken that second stock off of SNES. So as much extra credit as he could possibly rack up, he's going to want to start doing it now because ooh, he's still going to be able to live 164%. Why has Freak's survivability been so much today? Don't think he's living that one. And God, yes, he is. 177. How is this man still living? She doesn't need that? Oh, hell no. She don't need it. But if she had it, she'd be broken. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to go for a forward air right there, dude. That would have made Flash Party officials top clips. All these side Bs. What is Freak going to do to get out of them? Just luckily, DI's down is able to air dodge. If he can just get the, 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 um, the throws charged up, this game will become so much closer than what it is. Or not closer than what it is. Uh oh, this might just be curtains. That's it. Oh, the up air misses. Freak still got a little bit of life left in him. And all he needs, honestly, is one back air on ledge. And that might just be enough to do it if he can get a nair before. Oh my god. Jumps right into it. What's the option gonna be? Trampoline back air. Freak calling out Sness's air dodge and was able to punish it perfectly. Freak going up game number one.
Alrighty, getting into game number two. We are going to be running it back. Now, SNES, I don't know if y'all remember this, but SNES was able to kill Freak with a zero to death within the first 10 seconds of the game, I believe. And somehow Freak still managed to come out on top. So SNES has got to get some more of those zero to deaths in the game if he wants to potentially get a game on the board because Freak is playing out of his mind right now. He is playing absolutely freakish. I've never heard Chili actually like run on the stage. There's normally a lot of sounds like her whistling and rush shooting, but that was the funniest run animation I've ever heard. Sound like her tap dancing or something. Ooh, not gonna be able to punish the side Bs. Uh oh. Honestly, I feel like I feel like Chili can do pretty good in this matchup if she camps Bush and every time Lan jumps at her, pull out Grandma. Because everybody knows when Lan's landing near you, what is he trying to do? He's trying to get a Nair or a side B. That exact oh, never mind. That's not gonna work. Well, that was side B. Maybe Nair would work, um, but side B's not gonna work because Grandma can't get to him in time to punish it, so. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Freak just found an option. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Was that Nair back air after the trampoline off stage? Either way, he's still going to lose his stock, but that is beautiful. Freak has got some damn tricks up his sleeve right now. Tell him to update score. They can't because Freak doesn't have... He can't log in to start.gg, so I have to update everything for Freak myself. I have to check him into every match, and I have to log him in. I have to update every single score. I wish he'd get a damn PC. Somebody needs to donate to him. Start a GoFundMe for free, please. Somebody. All right, gets the forward throw. Freak's in a pretty bad spot right now. 121% against Land. I don't know how that grab missed, but the back throw is still not going to be enough to do it just yet, though. 133%. We have seen Freak live at freakish percentages, and I don't really know how, but let's see if he's going to be able to do it this game because he's definitely going to need it if he wants to um, if he wants to even this game back up. And no, the up air going to be enough to take that second stock off of him, but Freak has been able to kill SNES pretty early and with some pretty good moves. So let's see if he's going to be able to do it for this second stock on SNES and even this game back up. Ooh, didn't pull the trigger on Rush, so he's taking a lot of damage. Goes for the forward air instead of the up air. And Freak, this might just be his game to uh, to win because he is not. Yeah, he ain't winning this one. Not happening. So that's going to be tying things up one to one. All right, he's going to be seeing the run back one more time on the face off. Same matchup, same stage, same everything. But how is Freak going to answer back after that game number two? Because he did not look as good as he did in game number one. And I still don't know why that back air from Chili does 18 damn percent. For my 50% mod win boost right now. I actually could give you one. It is possible. These wings are better than RBs. I'm fucking dead. Oh, that could have been a nice little combo from uh, from Freak, but he just wasn't ready for the angle that he was going to get sent at after that bullet from Rust. Oh, shit. Okay, somehow the... Oh, that's it. GG's. Freak trying to pull... Uh, trying to use a move to get him out of hit stun, but SNES called it out using that double fair to get him off stage and uh, potentially take that first stock, so... I don't know what Freak's going to do to get back into this one. We haven't been seeing a lot of Rust in the past two games, but he's going to have to start using it more to try to keep SNES out with this wall of bullets that Rust is able to dish out. kill oh even with the bad di that still wasn't enough to kill freak using that down there to get him back to stage what the hell i thought he was gonna go for forward air there that could have been it fourth throw is that gonna kill no almost
Oh no, freak down air instead of upbeat. I don't know what the hell he was pressing on. Well, he is on mobile. I don't I don't know what happened. That's not a usual uh, SD from that we see from Freak. Oh my god, look at all this percent he's taking. He might die from that, and yes, he will. He got hit by one interaction, and SNESFresh going to answer with a three stock for game number three, going up 2-1 in this set. That move needs a buff right now. Yeah, it really does. Like, Sophia's, counter, Sophia's counter's hitbox is literally, like, bigger than the whole damn stage. And Grandma's is, like, the size of Tarara's baseball. Freak not being able to put any damage on the board. Finally, he's able to get a hit with the baseball, but he's got to get this level up if he wants to If he wants to dish out a lot of damage. We all know Tarara has the capabilities of doing so, but you have to get that XP to do it. Ooh, was going to go for a down B right there. You don't see that move used too often, but I thought he was going to use it there. Back throw into down B is a combo, and it does work. I don't know if Freak is aware of that, though. So I don't know how he's going to get these levels. Oh, that could have been a huge... Okay, way to gosh dog on minute. Oh, shit. I literally about lost my heart. Freak, you don't need to be using baseballs anymore, my boy. You got level up. That's it. Yep. Now, Freak does know the Tarara Infinite with the back throw. Um, It is required to have... Oh, shit. Good snipe. It is required to have Peruru or the level up to do it, but Freak does know how to do that. So if he can get the level up, that's going to be huge for Snesfresh. He's going to take a lot of damage and potentially a kill if Freak's able to get... Oh, shit. Here we go. There it is. GG's. He lost. Oh, my God. He got out of it. Yeah, SNES is going to have to start rethinking things now that he knows that Freak knows how to do that infinite. Oh, no. Unfortunately, thought he was going to go for a forward throw there. Maybe a little bit of a mix-up on his fingers not working on the mobile. Gets the punish with the side B. Not able to get the, uh, the, second, the third side B, though. Why does she have an infinite? She has two. She doesn't need that? Of course not. Oh, GG's. Oh, if he would have actually charged the baseball up, that could have been enough to snipe him. Oh, my God. He actually... That's it. He could have got that back door right there if Ness would have... If he wouldn't have uh, moved up a little bit. He could have punished him with the back throw, and that would have been it for that stop because we all know how strong Peruru back throw is. Um, but unfortunately, he got punished by that side B, and he lost his second stock. He's got to fight his way into getting level up one more time, and it is 2-1 right now, and that might just be it. But no. One more of those combos, and one more, uh, one more back throw. Okay, obviously not just yet, but I think maybe the next back throw will be enough to do it. Oh, my God. Almost gets the down throw two, the down air two frame. Going to go for it again. Freak going up a, uh, why did that, was that down air? I thought that was down it. Oh, he's dead. Freak is still in this game. All he needs to do is get the XP to potentially get the game. Or Sness Fresh might just SD. Okay, okay. Level up is on deck. That's the down air. Does it go for the dash attack? That's one thing we haven't seen Freak do one time this game. Fourth throw is not going to be enough just yet. If Freak can get one good combo, it will be curtains for Sness Fresh's stock. And I want to see it. And I'm sure y'all do too. But we're not going to because the back throw is so stupid and it's so strong from land. I don't know why he has two kill throws. If Flash Party official, if you're watching right now, please nerf that. We don't. He don't need it.